Hi there, I received a request about um, explaining um, the concurrency problem and how to address that. Um, so I'm gonna show you how to generate such a problem when it's going to happen and uh, a number of ways to solve that. Um, okay, so here we go. Before I start, I have this database that contains a test table. Uh, we have uh, the ID here which is the primary key and uh, what we have here is the txt column and it has a number of values v1 up to v7 okay so I'm gonna save that um, I'm gonna close the database and let's go to our project so here what we have is um, we're going to create a Windows uh, Forms application press OK and here we are having our project I'm gonna change a few settings here and I'm gonna go and change this one to bx86 okay next we need to link our project to a database so add a new data source it's a database press next a new connection change that to bxs database file okay browse from the desktop go and select the test connection open test that uh, it's successful okay okay uh, press next don't include the database we want to use the same database for multiple applications so I'm not gonna include it here I'm gonna say next now the table is gonna be test table I'm gonna change the name of the database for example here my test uh, DB okay this is the name of the data set and finish wait a few seconds and there you go okay so now it's finished in order to test our uh, problem here I'm gonna drag this and drop it on the on, uh, and onto the form so we have here uh, <coughs> the data grid view okay and uh, probably I, I want to dock this so dock this in parent container and there you go so we have this one I'm gonna build the solution okay so um, in order to show you the error uh, the concurrency problem um, I'm gonna click here in order to get the path Con the control C open this one click here control V enter go to the min directory go to the debug directory this is the e exe generated and I'm gonna run two copies of that so we have two copies now we have two copies so this is a uh, this is the first copy and this is the second maybe I need to display both of them in the video here okay so we have both of those this will be the first this will be the second now the problem happens like this now both users now displaying the same exact data let's say the second user uh, the first user want to update the information so here is gonna say the first user I'm gonna call him X so this will be X1 this will be X2 and this will be X3 okay now these same records will be updated here so this will be y1 and this will be y2 and this will be y3 now these information are not sent to the database yet what am I gonna do here I'm gonna make the second user save the information so now it is saved in the database now the content of the of the database is exactly like this now if we go to the first user uh, it updated uh, the information based uh, assuming that the value of txt was v1 v2 v3 if I try to save that I'm gonna get an error now this is the error if you check the error it's concurrency violation uh, uh, the update command effect zero of the expected rows oh, uh, expected one records sorry okay so this is the concurrency problem two applications accessing the same data okay and updating that same data okay uh, now in order to solve this uh, there are a number of ways now uh, let's assume that you don't care about the concurrency problem in other words it doesn't matter uh, the previous value uh, sorry the previous value before you update the information doesn't matter in other words if if you see that the values are like this v1 v2 v3 um, and later on you want to update the information you don't care about who 
who updated the information during uh, the process of view uh, of uh, your update okay uh, in that case you can depend on the ID so let me explain uh, how, how you can work with that so here I'm gonna double click on uh, data set and I'm gonna click on the adapter here now what do you see you can see that there is the update command there you go this is update command this is SQL now have a look at the SQL here I'm gonna show the SQL command now how does the SQL command works you are gonna pass the new value and you are gonna pass the ID and also you want to make sure that the, ta the old text value is not changed okay you want to make sure that the old text value is not changed the same as it is and also that the ID uh, is the one you specified now you can ignore or make your SQL ignore the concurrency problem or uh, uh, make it uh, avoid checking the concurrency problem by depending only on the ID okay so what this means is that you are going to remove these so I'm gonna make shift delete now what do you see here you are gonna change the text based on the ID value this means that if multiple users are updating the same exact record the last one who hits the save button will have his information stored okay you don't need this behavior all the time some cases it makes sense some cases it doesn't make sense you want to uh, to uh, check the concurrency problem in other cases I'm gonna press OK here and next I'm gonna build the solution okay now let, let me uh, run the, the project again two copies and let us do the same problem so this will be X this will be Y so here this is gonna be Y1 Y2 Y3 and I'm gonna save that now this one still thinks that this is v1, v2, v3. I'm gonna change this to x1, x2, x3. Now if I save this I don't get error as before because the update command is ignoring the concurrency condition. Okay uh, now you can see this one if, if you go back and update this one to z1, z2, z3 okay again and save that you'll get no error now the last value is z1 z2 z3 here I am gonna say q1 q2 q3 okay so all of those people are updating the same record uh, let's say and only the last one who's hitting the save button is affecting the information in this case the information that is stored is q1 q2 q3 so let's uh, let me demonstrate this. I'm gonna um, display the database itself to show you that. You can see here it's a Q1, Q2, Q3, which is the last save operation. Okay. Now uh, this is one way to do it. Uh, another way. Let me close this. Um, is okay. First, before I, I do the, uh, the other way, I'm gonna put the SQL command the way it was so that the concurrency problem returns control V it was like that and I'm gonna say OK here and I'm gonna say save and build that okay now just to make sure that concurrency problem is now being checked okay so I'm gonna say now this is a uh, sorry this is gonna be x1, x2, and x3. Sorry, x3. I'm not gonna save here. This is gonna be y1, y2, y3. Sorry, y3. I'm gonna save this 
Now this one assume, still assumes that these values are Q1 up to Q3. I'm going to save and I'm going to get the error, concurrency violation. Okay, so let's quit for, on this one. Now, the other thing you want to do is that maybe the concurrency violation check is important. So what should you do to recover from such a problem? You want to tell the user that someone else updated the information while he was updating the information and you might want to refresh that, uh, the, the displayed information. So here, what am I going to do? I'm going to go to the code and there is this update all method as you can see here. So what we can do is this. We can use try catch here. Okay, this is the try catch. And here I'm going to display message box uh, the row was updated before you committed the changes. Let's say please re-update the row or something like that, you know. Is there a re-update word? Is that a word? Okay, so uh, here uh, this is going to be OK only critical or critical. Let's say error here. And this is the message. And next you want to refresh the information. So Control C, Control V. And I'm going to save this here. Build the solution. That's it. Let's go back to our project. Double click here, double click here. So now we have two copies, as you can see here. Okay, now both of those now can see the information as Y1, Y2. So here I'm going to make this Z1, Z2, Z3, and I'm going to save that. Now this one, I'm going to change it to X1, sorry, X1, X2, X3. Okay. Now, this, if I save now, uh, I will get the error. So you can see here, the rows was updated before you committed the changes. Please re-update the row. I'm going to say OK, and now it's being updated to reflect the changes made by the first user. Okay, this is one way to do it. And now, uh, I'm going to, now, both of the uh, of these programs now see the information like this. What I'm going to do, I'm going to change this to be x1, x2, x3, and save that. And now this one still thinks that the information is z1, z2, z3. I'm going to uh, try to update one of the rows here. I'm going to say this is 4K, something like that. And I save, now this one is having the error, which is the concurrency. The row was updated before, committed the changes, please re-update the row. And uh, this is how you do it. Okay. Now, I'm going to close this. This is the second way to solve the issue. Now, let's go to the third way. <coughs> uh, okay. Now, actually, you can tell the, what kind of behavior you want uh, to happen when there is an updated row. There's a concurrency problem for a specific row. What you can do is this. Uh, go to the Solution Explorer. If you look here, you will see that there's this show all files. Click that, and you will see a plus sign appears in the tree next to your data set. Open that and double click the designer. Now, this file is created by the wizard. We are going to add uh, a few things here. So, open this one and try to go to the adapter. Okay, the adapter is the one that, that's being used to update the information in the database. So click here, and you will find that there is a number of events. What you want to do is go to the row updated. Okay, now this event is fired after updating each row. What you want to do is to check if there is an error. So if E, this is the parameter passed to this uh, event handler, dot uh, records affected equals zero then. Now what this means is that if the update command affected zero records because the information was changed and from the format of the update command uh, it, it didn't uh, uh, the, the previous values was not there, so the update command affected zero rows instead of one. Then, what do you want the computer to do? You can say e dot 
status equals well you have the inner occurred which will of course uh, which is the same standard behavior that you, you are having in this case which which is the message box that shows you the concurrency problem that has ha uh, happened you can tell it to continue and ig ignore that error so far so good so I'm gonna save this and I'm gonna build a solution and now I'm gonna run two copies to show you what happens now so we have these two guys okay so I'm gonna change this to one two and three and save that now this one what it sees is that the information here is still x1 x2 so here I'm gonna say this is y1 y uh, sorry y2 I'm gonna say this is y3 and I'm gonna say this is y4 okay so this one is v4 I didn't change that here but here I change I changed it for those three the information was updated in the database okay so these will trigger these three will trigger the error the fourth one won't anyway so right now what I did I set the parameter to say uh, the error uh, error handling to be like uh, just continue to pay no attention to this problem now I'm gonna say save okay so what happened if you try and open the application again what are you gonna see is that well these values which was updated by the other user okay before you did the update was changed and the last one which was not updated by the other user is now changed by you okay so this is one of the behaviors okay I'm, I'm gonna put this one the way it was so that this is gonna be v3 v2 v1 uh, this is what continue does okay uh, let's go back and change this a little bit instead of continue I'm gonna say skip current row okay uh, okay uh, and here you can see the description actually yeah it, it tells you that the current row will not be updated here it tells you uh, that all the rows uh, remaining will, will be skipped okay um, which I think is has the same effect as uh, continue so I'm gonna say skip current row here just to make sure it's the same as continue um, why did they make two copies maybe I, I am not understanding this fully but anyway let's try this double click that twice so we have two copies and now I'm gonna say this one is one two three and I'm gonna save it and here I'm gonna say this is y1 y sorry y2 y3 sorry y3 and this is y4 and I'm gonna say save now okay and now this one's saved now let's run the information and uh, display the information again and you can see it's it, it is exactly the same giving the same result as the continue so this is how you can handle the concurrency problems in your pro in your project uh, each one of these has its uh, advantages and disadvantages and also uh, it depends on the problem and the way you are uh, you are accessing the data as I told you the easiest way is to use the ID alone if you don't care about the concurrency problem and this will always get executed the last one hitting the save button will have its information saved okay so this is all i hope you'll find this useful if you have further questions send them to notes at mka uh, thank you and have a nice day goodbye